Cappies. What's good, Cappies? I'm just finishing up my last reading. Jumping into you guys' reading. I'm clearing the space, getting prepared for you guys' readings. How are y'all doing? Hope you guys enjoyed your holidays. And this is going to be a love reading from January the 5th until January the 15th. Happy birthday, Cappies. If your birthday is within that week, happy birthday. All right, let's get going. January 5th through the 5th. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. So, something could be keeping you up. You could be worrying about something. We got the Seven of Pentacles. So, there's some wondering. We're going to be doing some wondering. Some things are going to be on your mind. All right. First card popped out is the Two of Swords. All right. The Hierophant is the Challenge. The King of Wands is the Foundation. The Queen of Swords is the past energy. The Judgment card is the future energy. King of Swords is what's crowning you. The Death card is you in a, situ is you in a situation. How others see you is the Moon. In your hopes and fears, we have the Emperor. And as the outcome, we have the Hermit. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. So there might be some spying going on or some gossiping or some truth being revealed. But right off the bat, I, I feel like there's a sense of not wanting to do the right thing or not wanting to make a commitment. It looks like in regards to going back to your past, we have the King of Wands clarified with the Six of Cups. So I feel like you're going to be making a decision to not make a commitment with somebody from your past. This is what's going to be on your mind. This is probably what's keeping you up on whether or not you want to go back to your past. All right. We got the Eight of Cups clarified here with the Queen of Swords. So you could have possibly walked away from an air sign. That's going to be Libra, Libra, Aquarius, and um, Gemini. Or somebody with air in their chart. It really doesn't matter. You could have just walked away from someone in your recent past. And then what's coming up into the future, we have the Magician. So I feel like you're going to be... You could possibly possibly be making coming up to a final decision on whether or not you want to go back to your past or not. We have the magician clarified with the judgment card. And the judgment card is having a, an awakening or revisiting, going back, reevaluating, looking over things. And the magician is having all the tools that you need to make things happen. All right. So what's crowning you is the star. So I feel like right now you could be having some hope. You have, I think you still have some hope. I just feel like you're indecisive on whether or not you want to go back to, um, could possibly be an air sign from your past. 
All right, so you in a situation, we have the Dev card and the Ace of Cups. So you could be feeling like, you know, there's no new beginning with this person. But how others see you, we have the Fool here clarified with the Moon. So I feel like others look at you as you secretly want to take a leap of faith. You might not be showing it, but others see you as you want to take a leap of faith you want to jump out there and just go for it but it's something that you're hiding you're hiding that you're not showing that all right so we have the emperor with the empress so i feel like you're hoping for some hoping to balance out the situation the emperor and the empress you know what i'm saying like Come on, it speaks for itself. The emperor and the empress. So I feel like you're looking for a need. You're looking for a, um, a balanced situation, or you could be trying to. You're hoping to have control over something in regards to your mother, or your baby mother, or somebody with motherly energy. But I feel like it's to have. I feel like you're wanting to stabilize something. And then we have the king of pentacles. This is your energy, um, clarified with the hermit. So I feel like you could be. Doing some soul searching, isolating yourself. Um, I still feel like, because I did a reading on you guys last week. And you guys were really like, should I stay? Should I go? I think you're still going to be in that state of mind. I don't think that you have came to a final decision just yet. But I feel like you're going to have to make a final decision in the upcoming future. Because it's right here. The judgment card and the magician. You're going to be making a final decision soon. But I feel like. You're still indecisive. You're not sure. You're not sure. I see you, somebody walked away from somebody. Sacrifice, you know, something in the past. But. I feel like. Yeah, I just feel like you're still going to be isolating yourself. I think you're not done when being in hermit mode i feel like you're still going to be taking your time and just making sure that you made the right decision you just want to make sure that you make that you make the right decision that's it that's what i see here you're just not sure you're very indecisive all right cappies this is going to be your january the 5th through the 15th love reading I feel like you should should take your time. You know, don't take too much time, but, you know, just take some time. Do the inner work and, you know, see what feels good. See what feels right. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is your girl, Read Divine with Read Divine Tarot. And I will chat it up with you guys next week. Bye.